There is currently no Hellcat Jeep. I'm at the end of the lease on my black Jeep SRT, so I'm thinking about getting another car, and I'm thinking about getting it in silver because I have to trade my car in, my Jeep. And that Jeep was black. This Jeep right here is silver. If I get a trade in and I change the color and everybody sees me in a silver one instead of a black one, then they will know right away that instead of me having a black 2014, that they'll know that I have a brand new silver one. So why am I considering silver? Well, it's very simple. Silver hides scratches pretty well. Silver hides dings and dents from like rocks and pebbles very well. This is a 16. This one is silver outside. This one has a black interior, standard SRT seats. The bolstering in these seats is better than they were in my uh, 300. That was something I complained about early on because I'm a complainer. I, I demand the best for my money. Anybody got a problem with that, that's your problem. So as you know, this is a 2016. It's got launch control. Back seat space is probably not as good as my 300 was, but because of the fact that there's a large roof, the roof line gives you a little bit more to play with. Now, um, silver is easy to clean. It looks cleaner, even if it's dirty. This has the full moon roof and everything. This has all the Uconnect stuff. And I'm thinking, you know, if I'm going to get one of these things to replace my Jeep, since I've already replaced my 300, much to my chagrin, you know, if I'm going to get one of these things, I might as well make sure the thing is fully loaded. This one, as you can see, USB ports in the back. It has a power inverter, 110 volt heated rear seats, if you can see them. And uh, that's just what it is. And as you can see right over there, there's my Hellcat. I drove up in my Hellcat, all the managers jumping up. Hey, how much can I give you for that? I give you 80. I'm like, you know what? Let me hold on to it for a little while because if they, oh snap. You know, if there's handicapped people, they're just gonna have to park on the side. The managers told me to pull right up here. So obviously nobody can give me a ticket. Can't give me a ticket because the manager said so. So anyway. Um, you know, I don't want to trade that one in. So my only thing is if I get, if I do choose to get this one, they pulled out for me, I'll have to have somebody else drive this home for me because right now there was like nobody else available. So this is what I'm just looking at. I have to, the problem with leasing a car is when that lease comes due, you got to trade the thing in. Some people are like, oh, I won't lease, you know, I just finance. But hey, that's, you know, that's, that's your choice. It's like some people want to do it one way. Some people want to do it the other way. Some people want to avoid depreciation some people want to don't mind the depreciation some people don't mind keeping it so as long as it comes with extended warranty everybody's happy you know everybody's happy as long as it comes with an extended warranty my only down to the only thing that pisses me off is that they don't have the hellcat jeep ready you know if they had the hellcat jeep ready i would have been on it i would have got it right now but uh, they said 2018. And if it's 2018 that it starts, that means that you won't even see them until about 2019, 2020. And they'll probably be all sold out. And the reason why everybody wants that is obviously for the same reason that I keep complaining about the Hellcat Charger. Rear wheel drive would nearly kill you if you're trying to drive home and you have any snow whatsoever. It's a great, fantastic, amazing car, but the problem is this is not a car that you can really use if you live in the Northeast. And as you know, I live in the Northeast. Something like this has been a more sensible option. I've kept my mileage down. That's why, one of the reasons why you didn't see me make many videos about it. I kept my mileage as low as I possibly could keep it. So that's, that's this. And it's a good car, you know, all the stuff that my 300 had plus some. But, um, you know, that's just what I'm looking at. So possibly I might make this deal. I also have another car that I have on lease that I got to get rid of this year. The, in June, I have a Hyundai Azera that's going back. And uh, for now, I think that's it. So, you know, wish me luck. Is this shit powered? Oh, this son of a bitch not powered. There's no power button here. Oh, or is there? If you push the button, I don't know. No, no, I don't think this has the power lift gate, but that's not, that's not a bit. Maybe it does. I don't know. Unless they change something. Maybe they change something. All right, whatever. But in any event, this is what I'm I'm looking at. So when I take that Hyundai Azera back, nobody's going to care about that video if I make it. So uh, since nobody's going to care about that video. Oh, yeah, power closes. 
nobody's gonna care when I take the Hyundai Azera back so I probably will make a video if I decide to grab a Genesis or something but uh you know we'll see what happens absolutely nothing sensible about my Charger Hellcat nothing sensible at all there's nothing sensible about my car at all and that's why that's why this car has to go into the garage because ultimately this is a car that not everybody needs I, I haven't even cleaned out all the shit that I put in my car yet. Uh, okay, well, you hear that? That's hell back there. Bad enough getting pulled over. I When I got my, I, I've been through, this is like the sixth car I've had oh, yeah. from SRT, man. These cars are fantastic, but you'll lose your license. Oh, yeah. You yeah. Know what speed? Oh, yeah. I like the fact that Hellcat has, um, you can tell it how far over this limit you want it to warn you. If you go 50 miles over, it'll say, yeah, slow down. You can't go any faster. Oh, it tells you all that? Yeah, it, it, that thing's got some pretty cool features in it. Now that I got this, though, now now I don't have to worry about having nothing to drive in the snow. Yeah. Goodness, though, you got it. Well, this is good in the snow. Congratulate me, YouTube. Big Truck Series. Silver Jeep. SRT. Congratulations are in order. Okay, so here it is. Secondary car. Jeep. Black Jeep replacement. Look what I got. Jeep Grand Cherokee. When that Hellcat comes in, I want the Hellcat. But uh, for right now, this is what it is. Direct replacement SRT Jeep. And we're in sports. I want to put her in auto. I mean, that's snow mode. You can't beat that. You, you know, you got to be able to drive in ice. If you can't drive in ice, you might wrap yourself around a pole or something. Jeep Cherokee 2016 Silver. Wee! Yeah, it's about the same as the last one, you know? Just gotta make sure the the cops don't the cops don't get too upset with me. Don't want the police upset with me. I'm a law abiding citizen. A good law abiding citizen. Those people are golden. Now what I'll do is I'll um, put that uh, Hellcat in the garage and when all the ice and snow is over, it'll be summer track days. So basically because I got two SRTs, I now have two SRT track experiences. Now I probably don't really need both of them since I doubt that when we go to the track experience they'll actually allow you to use a Hellcat. So the thing about it is here I am, I'd be coming to the SRT experience again, this time with cars better than what they got. So I, I don't, what I might do is I might sell one of my track experiences on my eBay. If I decide to sell one of my two track experiences, what I'll do is I'll um, make a small video saying that I plan on selling it so that if anybody wants to buy one of my track experiences, you can just buy my track experience because um, I don't need two track experiences. I mean, the track experience is really awesome. It's like they let you drive everything but the Viper and as far as I know, they don't let you drive the Hellcat either because the tracks are too small to drive the Hellcats. So um, that's just it, you know, so um, if I sell it, I, I don't know how much it costs. It's probably like six or seven hundred dollars. What I'll do is I'll knock a hundred bucks off to make it, you know, fair, more palatable. You know? Yeah, the Jeeps are really good trucks. The only downside is that uh, the rear leg space is okay. It could be better, but if you're if you have somebody sitting all the way back or something, it's uh, not that good. You know, but uh, otherwise, you know. It's like pretty much exactly what you saw me with before. You know, I got my sunroof back. People are like, oh man, why do you care so much about the sunroof? Why do you care about the sunroof? Why do you care about heat cool seats and stuff? Why do you care about the sunroof? Yeah, I like my sunroof. When I'm at a light or if I'm in Manhattan and I look up, I can see the sky. I like being able to see the sky. Why can't I see the sky? You're trying to deny me the ability to see the sky? Who is you? So that's about it. That's about it. So on goes my YouTube until the Hellcat jeep comes i'm gonna lock the hellcat charger up it's like um you'll see more videos probably during the summer you know of course the internet's gonna be flooded with hellcat racing videos so you know that's a downside but um that's just what it is so um you know 
you know, just look forward to more action from the Big Truck Series Review Channel. And I definitely, I'm going to be making videos for the Cadillac CT6, and I'll definitely be making videos for, uh, what is it called, um, what is it called, uh, the, um, XT5, and I'll definitely also be making a video for the, uh, what is it called, uh, Lincoln Continental, definitely. So just, you know, stay tuned.